for the auspices of the Free Nigeria Movement has called for immediate reversal of the price hike of premium motor spirits, occasioned by the President Bola Amit in his pronouncement in his inaugural address. Threatening to mobilize a mass protest, the group gave the presidency seven days ultimatum to restore the old pump price of petrol. Addressing journalists at a press conference on Thursday in Abuja, the convener of the group, Dr. Moses Paul, said the movement was aware of ongoing talks with the Nigeria Labour Congress MLC. He alleged that lobbying by actors for the new pump price was ongoing and called on the MLC not to succumb to anything short of reverting to the old pump price, insisting Nigerians cannot cope with the present situation. We are worried for the senior citizens who must need transport to access treatment and emergency patients whose life may hang in the thread by this artificial hike. Persons living with disabilities are also in our thoughts as they may resort to every excruciating cost to beat long distances. We call on all Nigerians to remain law abiding and to follow legal path in voicing their displeasures yes. with the abrupt removal of subsidy by the federal government. Yes. We call for collaboration among citizens based on the understanding of shared pain. Yes. This is not the time to be angry, no, but a time for sober reflection, yes. to access life's choices and how much of government policies impact our lives daily. Yes. It is time to see what influence we can command as a people in a democracy and a right to demand for accountability from our government. Yes. No matter their route to power, Time to know that not voting for an individual does not remove your right to ask them to do the right thing. Yes. For everyone that holds power does so on behalf of the people, including yes. members of the opposition. Yes. As a group, the Free Nigeria Movement will continue to demand for good governance. Yes. Responsible leadership yes. and insisting on a credible route to power. Yes. We frown at the unsavory pronouncement of subsidy removal by the new government. Yes. Which is especially and essentially a place holding pending decision on all petition at the presidential election tribunal court. Yes. We call for the immediate reversal of this pronouncement. Yes. Failure of which we shall begin national protests within the next seven days. Yes. This is the lawful duty and right of every Nigerian. Yes. We are aware of the ongoing talks with the Nigerian Labour Congress, the NLC, and the many actors lobbying for an acceptance of the new pump prize by the NLC leadership. No. We call on the NLC to remain steadfast. Yes. Standing with the poor people of Nigeria yes. and never compromising their position. Yes. As always, we call on Nigerians to stand up and defend our country. Yes. Our right to live with every inch of dignity in it. This is the only country we have. Yes. We will defend with every strength of being standing on the law. Yes. This is the only way that Nigeria can stand for the good of all. Yes. And as always, let Nigeria win. Yes. Let Nigeria win. Yes. Let Nigeria win. 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 Let Nigeria win.